Uh, hello, and welcome to Photosynthesis Lab. Uh, we're going to be exploring photosynthesis and trying to visualize kind of what's happening uh, in, in a somewhat abstract concept. Uh, so I'm going to show you the general uh, procedure for setting up your lab. So uh, I am going to walk through using baking soda, so you will need to pay attention to your lab uh, as to whether or not you actually are, are putting in baking soda. Uh, regardless, everyone will need to fill their beakers up with 200 milliliters of water. So you, once you've filled it up to 200 milliliters of water, you're mostly there. If your lab setup does require baking soda, uh, there should be baking soda in a spoon somewhere near your lab, as well as a weigh boat, which looks like a small cupcake tin, and there should be scales around the room. So first thing to do is to put your weigh boat on your scale. Uh, hit the zero button, so your scale should read zero, even though it has it on here. And we're going to want two grams of baking soda. So just add a little bit of a time. Two grams really isn't very much. All right. So I've hit my two grams. Now I'm going to dump my baking soda into my beaker and again that's only if your lab requires it. So there should be a syringe near your lab station. You can just go ahead and use that as your um, stirring um, instrument if you need it. Uh, again if you're not doing baking soda there's nothing to stir. But if you do have the baking soda you want to stir until uh, your water is relatively clear. So we filled it up, we have two grams of baking soda, and the purpose of the baking soda is to add carbon dioxide to the water. Uh, you know, that should sound familiar with what we've talked about photosynthesis, uh, but we want to add extra carbon dioxide to our water. The next thing we need is a uh, leaf sample, a uh, plant sample to show photosynthesis. Uh, we could use other producers, but these are a little easier to get a hold of. And as you can see, I've had many a take. So we need three hole punches of spinach leaf. So there should be a hole punch in your station. And I'd recommend doing this over a piece of paper. It just makes it a little easier to catch. And one's stuck in there, and that's going to happen. So we'll just try and hole punch it out. All right. So now I have my three sections of leaf on my paper. So you're going to want to add each section and try and drop it down into the bottom of your leaf discs into your syringe. So we have the syringe, and just a quick note, uh, when we were talking about open and closed valves, this is open, this is closed, so when it looks like a T, it's closed. So we want to start with it open. So it should start like this. Next up, we want to take our plunger. You want to push it almost all the way to the bottom, just not all the way because you don't want to crush your leaves. So pretty close. So you can see how close I am in here. Like it almost looks like they're there, but there's a little bit of a gap. Uh, and again, uh, that's just to help with uh, sucking up water and things like that. You can't start with it at the top and we want to get some of the air out. If you do crush them, it'll damage the leaves and this won't work. Uh, worst thing that happens is you get a new spinach leaf and start over. So then we want to take whatever water you have in your beaker, whether that's water with baking soda or water without, and just suck it up about a quarter of the way. Uh, so maybe it's around 10 or so. So the next thing we want to do, you can see there's a huge air bubble. I'm just going to tap, try and get rid of any captured ones. Sometimes air bubbles do get trapped underneath uh, the leaf discs. So there, all the water should be in there, and just kind of like you might see on TV, uh, you just want to squeeze the air out of the top. So just gently squeeze it. I'm going to do it over the beaker. And just, whoop! There you go. Uh, just make sure that you don't have any electronic devices, so the Chromebooks or your phones aren't directly underneath. Uh, and just get rid of the air bubble that was on top here. Okay. Now we're going to close the valve, so you should have a T, Mr. T. 
So the next step is we want to create a vacuum to get rid of any air that's trapped inside of the uh, spinach leaves. So this is tough, but you want to have a good grip on it, and you're going to want to pull. And you can see when I pull, I'm creating a vacuum, and there's all these air bubbles. So just let that go for a second. And what we're doing is forcing all the air out of the leaves. And when you let it go, it should kind of pop back up. And now we want to force water into the leaves through pressure. So we created a vacuum to remove air. Now we want to force in water to get rid of any excess air. So you're going to push on the syringe, try and get a better angle. And again, they might be stuck to the side of the wall. But as you push in, you can see that some of them are, are starting to fall. And ideally, you can get all of them. I think this one's stuck to the side. So it might even still be working. It might just be stuck to the side. And that's okay. That's why we have more than one leaf. And so you, again, just try and squeeze it so they fall into the bottom. So you can see that I have my leaf discs. Now they've sunk because now they're full of water. So take your beaker. Again, whichever one, your carbon dioxide and or your... Um, non-carbon dioxide with baking soda. So you're going to open the valve and this might squirt. So again, watch the electronic devices. Oop, there you go. So valve is now open. Ish. There we go. And we're going to pull out the back of our plunger. And if it's not open, you'll have a hard time doing this. Otherwise, it should come out. Now let's make sure you have a good grip. You just want to gently have your leaves fall out into your beaker. Oop. And if it works, they're just kind of settling. Uh, it must not have worked for that one leaf, but you can see that my other two leaf discs have sunk to the bottom. So if none of your leaf discs sink to the bottom, uh, then you might have to start over. If they all do, that's awesome. Uh, so from this point, you just want to check out your individual uh, group's uh, lab setup, and there should be diagrams to show you uh, what the next steps are. Uh, just the last little bit, when it does come to cleanup time, just try and pull out your leaves and throw them in the garbage so we don't have solid waste in the sinks. Uh, again, add any of these, uh, anything you need onto your uh, pre-labs. Uh, check your pre-lab setups just so you have an idea, and then come with any questions you have. Thank you.